Okie dokie. Um, I got a link for the bokeh of all these lenses below. The only two lenses that I didn't bring out that are my recommendation are the Takamura 50mm f1.4 or f1.8 and the Takamura 135mm f3.5 or if you have the money it's a lot more expensive the 135mm f2.5 uh, both of those are awesome lenses I have the bokeh links below for the test comparison of all of these lenses except for those two so these are my top recommended lenses manual focus lenses which are awesome and on the cheap and these are all M42 mount and the only thing you'll actually need is an M42 mount adapter like this rainbow imaging adapter right now I think they're slightly out of stock on them but they're $8.50 um, for mounting on your Fujifilm. Some of these can be mounted on an icon. <clears throat> However, they stick out of the back of the lens and that's an issue because it, what it can do, it can smack the mirror and damage your camera. A lot of these actually don't have that issue like this little Indostar 50mm. Look how cute that is, hey? So, I'm going to go down the list of these lenses. Like I said, the two that I don't have lifted, the, listed I have out here, which is the 50mm Takamar f1.4 or f1.8, the Takamar 135mm, either f3.5 or the f2.5, which the f2.5 actually costs a lot more money. Uh, this is the Indostar 50mm f2. I got like four or five of these lenses. This lens is actually incredibly uh, sharp. It's great, great resolution. This is the cutest little pancake lens you've ever seen. It's made in Russia. It's made in Soviet Union. Made in Soviet Union. Um, that's okay to order from Ukraine. I mean, it's okay to risk 20 bucks ordering. So don't, I'll try to order these. Most of these come out of Ukraine, which they have a semi-reliable post office system as opposed to Russia. <laughs> um, so it's okay to risk 15 or 20 bucks ordering one of these from Russia. I mean, it's 15 or 20 bucks. You know, it's the cutest little damn lens ever. It's really sharp. It's got uh, soap bubble bokeh, just like the Genetessar. Which leads me on to the next lens, which also has an adapter on it. You can get this in the uh, F3.5, uh, and this one is a F2.8. I've got both of them. This is the Jenna Tesser Carl Zeiss. Incredible lens. I mean, it's just built like a Rolls Royce. Absolutely love the hell out of it. Um, you can usually grab these for 50 or 60 bucks. Also an M42. Got great soap bubble bokeh. It's not a very fast lens, but who gives a damn? You know, who really cares? Uh, you know, you can't buy a lens from Fuji or anybody else that gives you soap bubble bokeh like that. Um, I'll save the best two for last. I've got also here the uh, Yashica, yeah, the Yashinan, a 50mm f2. Also an incredible lens. You can usually find that for like 15 bucks or something. Yeah, Yashica, Yashinan, th those are actually extremely, these, i got uh, several of them here, actually extremely well-made lenses. This is another uh, Yashica. This is the Ari Yashinan, uh 50mm f1.7. 50mm f1.7. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the Helios. That was my next lens. I didn't know which lens I was grabbing next. I've got so many here. It's the Helios 44M4. This is a 58mm f2. This has got the huge, gigantic, uh, slightly swirly uh, soap bubble bokeh. Uh, this is a later edition. The earlier ones that are highly sought after have a double zero, uh, first two digit serial numbers, or just a single zero. Uh, they look older than this. I mean, they. The Russians have been making these Helios lenses forever. The only hard thing is actually getting these from the United States, since most of them are in Mother Russia or in the Ukraine. Um, but here's two lenses that are exactly the same, and this is kind of funny, funny crap, because people pay a lot more for this lens than they do, whoops, this lens than they do for this one. I'll get to that in a minute. Both of these are the exact same lens. This is the Meyer Optic Gerlitz. This one is the Oriston 50mm 1.8 here. And uh, this is the uh, Pentacon Meyer Optic Gerlitz 50mm 1.8. People pay more for the Oristem because it comes up less frequently, but both of these are the exact same lens. They render the same, same everything. Now, are, there are a few different versions of this as far as their cosmetic uh, um, look on these lenses, but they're exactly the same optically, same bokeh. And I said, remember, take a look at the links below for the test shot to the bokeh. Uh, of all of these lenses. That way you can see what it is I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, this lens cap doesn't go with that one. This lens cap goes with this one. Ah, 
I uh, I kept forgetting. Yeah. Or does it go with that one? Whatever. They're both the same lens. Uh, <laughs> I've uh, got two more lenses here, and I'm saving the best for last. These are the two absolute best of all of these here. And uh, that is, and both of these are cheap. This one's actually slightly rare, but when you do find it, it's cheap. But this one is the Auto Shannon 55mm f1.7. You usually find this for uh, 15 or 25 bucks, somewhere right around there. Incredibly sharp, gigantic, titanic, absolutely enormous, bigger than JLo's fanny. <laughs> Boca. <laughs> you know, JLo's got a big old fanny on her. We know what I'm talking about. Now, I'm really fat, but I don't have a big fanny on me. Um, yeah, like that's per pertinent to this subject, right? Too much caffeine. So that is the Auto Shannon 55 millimeter f1.7. If you can find one, you will not regret buying it. Uh, this one is made as tough as a Zeiss or a Voigtlander. It is very tiny, but it is insanely heavy. This is the uh, Shika, this is the Yashinan. It's a, a 50 millimeter F2, however, how it's marked on lens is F5 centimeters. 50 millimeter lens, okay? So it's a 50 millimeter lens, F2. Insanely sharp. A really huge uh, bokeh on uh, this lens, uh, bubble bokeh. I said the links below for the bokeh comparison on all of these lenses except for the Takamar 50mm. That's the only one I didn't include. I think there's a link to seven lenses below. This one, this one, this one, that was four, five, six. I see the Oriston and the, uh, and the Pentacon are the exact same lens. So I don't need test comparisons between those two damn lenses, so... All of these are the ones that I recommend. So, and they're all cheap. This one's slightly harder to find. This is actually the expensive one on the table. And what do I mean by expensive? 50 bucks, usually 50 bucks. Oh, this is this little tiny lens is so damn heavy. And all of these are M42 screw mount lenses. All of these are. Okay. I hope I made that nice and clear. All of them are 50 Excuse me, M42 screw mount lenses. So, this has been a tough day, by the way. You ever had one of those days where you just wish you didn't crawl out of bed and you go, shit. Every one of those days you just crawl out of bed and you just go, shit. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> you crawl into the bathroom and you look in the mirror and you go, oh, shit. No, I don't drink. No, I never get hungover because I don't drink. I know that's the first thing someone's going to think, you know. Oh, God, you know. I know I'm, like, not starving for food in, like, some uh, forbidden hellhole in some strange country or something like that. So I guess I don't have much to bitch about, like said the fat dude, talking about camera lenses, right? It's like, oh, my God, first world problems, right? Well, anyway, this is definitely one of those days where... You just go like this. It's my buddy he used to do this all the time. He go, fuck it. It's like, how you doing it? Fuck it. <laughs> he was so funny. I think he's still living. Of course, he smoked like a freight train and he drank like a fish. But damn, he was funny. When he had a bad day, he used some cool sayings. He's like, I said, what's how you how's your day going? And he go. He said, ah, meaning a bad day. He go, ah, oh, this this is the kind of day the McGinnis boys butchered their mother with an axe which I think was like some sort of horrific event in Ohio history because he's from Ohio. That was pretty funny. Uh, I'm reminiscing now. It's been one of those miserable days. Just one of those days you're going to crawl back in bed and go, fuck it. <laughs> Bye. Uh, if you like this video, you can always drop me a buck or two because I don't sell t-shirts. I don't have any hot links and uh, you know I'm not selling anything. And if you think YouTube pays, like, any kind of money, you're delusional. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. You can tell me to jump off a cliff, too. That is also a valid response. Go jump off a cliff, fat ass. I'm like, okay, that's good. See you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, damn. Yep, one of those days. One of those days.